Welcome to this new tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to calculate working hours in Excel. I will start by how Excel processes time and how you should format it. Then calculate the working hours excluding a 45 minute break. And last but not least, how to sum hours and minutes above 24 hours. Let's begin. So in this table, I have three columns, each containing the same value, but with different format. The first column is formatted as number, the second as date, the third as time. Excel stores dates as sequential numbers beginning with January 1st, 1900. This date is stored as number 1. January 2nd is stored as number 2 and so on. When you include dates and formulas, Excel processes the numbers but displays it in the date format you chose. The same applies for time. Time is treated as a portion of the day and stored as decimal fractions. Midnight or 0.0, .0 is a starting point of the day, so when a whole number is entered, Excel sees it as a day starting at midnight. 1.1 is understood as a whole day plus 0.1 of a whole day. So 0.1 multiplied by 24 hours is 2 hours and a fraction of the hour. The same applies for other decimals. 1.5 for example is midday, in other words 0.5 multiplied by 24 hours. 2.999 is the 2nd of January 1900 for the date and 0 0.999 multiplied by 24 hours for the time. So to summarize, Excel processes time as decimal fractions of a number. Now to calculate working hours, I consider this example. Start time is 8 a.m. End time is 5 p.m. or 17.00 military time. You can format the time displayed as you like. Go to format and choose whichever format you prefer. This will not affect the calculation, only how the numbers are displayed in the cell. I will copy the time noted and transform it to numbers. So now to calculate the working hours, the formula is end time minus start time minus break. In the upper row, the cells are formatted as time, so the results are 8 hours 15 minutes. In the lower row, the results are formatted as general or numbers. So by multiplying the results by 24 hours, we have the working time. As mentioned before, Excel processes time as a fraction of a number, in other words, as a fraction of a day. So when we sum time and the results are above 24 hours, only the fraction part of the summed result will be displayed. To correct that, change the format of the cell into this one, delete the SS to remove the seconds displayed, and your time will be summed correctly. I hope you found what you were looking for in this tutorial. If yes, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel for more videos. Check out other Excel video tutorials by Swag Academy in this playlist. Thanks for watching.